Hi Kenta, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Miri and Buddy Advice on Facebook. You can find the main links on the main page just about there and if you're new please become a member. Um, uh, click on the membership button, it's free of charge and also click the bell if you would like to be notified. If you don't want to be notified, don't click the bell. But it is wise to um, save the channel so that you can always come back when you feel like it and um, check up or check out what has been happening on the channel. It will uh, sh save it in your library of the liked videos or channels. I hope you will join me in the live sessions because I go live every day and I call it my tea room and the tea room belongs to everybody because you, the viewer and follower, make it what it is, not only me. Because there's discussions going on, etc, etc, and we have a lot of laughter as well. And people get to know each other. So I'm doing your May reading and uh, welcome, as I said. And I've got one card, one tarot card for each week with a clarification card and a theme card. So let's begin. In the first week, we have the High Priestess. She represents a woman that's mysterious, spiritual. Uh, she listens to her intuition. She's got the knowledge because usually she has the knowledge, uh, the book of knowledge of wisdom uh, on her lap. But here she is uh, coming down a stairwell and um, She's more mystic and grandeur than anything else. But I think she's lovely. And she's also depicted as an angel. Because this is the angel, uh, Archangel Power Deck. And the, this represents, she represents also, like I said, spiritual. It could be spiritual inside, like the chakras and yoga. and But it can also be your mind and your uh, soul that kind of spirituality. It doesn't have to be uh, tarot cards or the crystal ball or whatever, or going to church. A spirituality has got so many facets. So perhaps um, you might feel more spiritual um, this month or this week, actually, and getting to know yourself and getting down to the nitty gritty or listening to your intuition. Let's see what the reading has in store for you. The clarification card on the um, on the High Priestess is the coffin. And so as you can see, the coffin means not an, uh, an actual death, um, but it means a new beginning, uh, an end of a phase. So your intuition might be peaking or feeling that, um, that there is an end coming and a new beginning. It might actually be a new project or a new job because we've got the page of staves next door to it and the, uh, the staves do stand for action, uh, cre creativity, passion and logic and work. Um, you actually might be invited to go and visit somebody like a, a job interview or somebody will come and visit you but you will be getting news and that's the clarification card. Um, of the messenger and the page of uh, Gabriel of Staves is also bringing you news. So it's definitely a strong message because you've got two uh, cards that says news. Um, actually, like I said, the Staves are to do with work and action. Uh, work is action and also our new projects. For the third week, we have the three of Gabriel, the three of Staves, and you can see a big, big ship. Those ships were used to import and export things, and so your boat is coming in. You might actually be moving, or you might be going on holiday. And the clarification card is the, cross, uh, the crossroads, but this is um, like a tower bridge, and so I see it bringing things together. Perhaps you might um, have a feeling that something is coming to an end, like a work relationship or a relationship, and you're getting news. Um, what kind of news? 
your boat is coming in, you might compromise, you might be coming back together again, you might find um, you might find a solution to bring two sides together with the bridge. Because a bridge does bring one thing uh, to another, or you might overbridge something. Perhaps you um, haven't got a job right now and you're trying to overbridge finances, um, life, uh, until you get your new job. But in the third week, you most probably will have that new job. At the end of the month, you've got the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is usually depicted with a man lying down, face down, or with his head on the side, with ten swords in his back. Perhaps you might feel stabbed in the back um, by somebody in the past, and, and you, you're written, that was your feeling, that's how you felt, perhaps that's the feeling, and now you're ready for that new beginning. Because a ten becomes a one, and you've turned your back on it now, it's like she's saying, um, I can't do it with my back. But she's taking a bow, saying, thank you very much, go away, I'm fine, I'm ready for the new beginning. I found my love, I found my passion. Okay? So I think that's pretty amazing. And it is, it, it is so amazing that the cards always come together. And your theme card is higher thinking. It's in touch. And that's also a 10, so that's also a 1. So uh, apparently um, new beginnings are very, very uh, number 1. And higher thinking. See, walk into the light. You've got the stairs here. You can walk into the universe, her arms and her light. Her, her, yeah, how do you mean that? Her pure light. That's so soft. Believe in the universe or that the angels are with you. And you're not alone. And try to see something from a different perspective. That is what also higher thinking means. And if somebody has stabbed you in the back, Take a bow and say, ciao, I'm ready for the new beginning. I found my passion. And I've got the news. My boat is coming in. Right? And your gut feeling might have been right. So, I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Cancer. Take care and God bless. And I'll see you in the live sessions. Ciao, ciao.